This video we talk about West Nile virus. West Nile virus commonly spreads to people by mosquito bites. It can cause neurological disease and death in people. West Nile virus is commonly found in Africa, Europe, the Middle East, North America and West Asia. Cases of West Nile virus occur during mosquito season, which starts in the summer and continues through fall. West Nile virus cases have been reported in all of the continental United States. West Nile virus is a mosquito-borne virus first detected in the New York City area of the United States in 1999. Since 1999, the virus is spread throughout the U.S. and Canada, infecting birds, humans, horses, and other animals. West Nile virus is a member of the flavivirus genus and belongs to the Japanese encephalitis antigenic complex of the family Flaviviridae. Serologically, West Nile virus is a member of the Japanese encephalitis sero complex, which includes Japanese encephalitis virus and an endemic North American flavivirus, St. Louis encephalitis virus. West Nile viruses can be designated into at least five phylogenetic lineages. Only lineage 1 and 2 West Nile viruses have been associated with significant outbreaks in humans. West Nile virus is maintained in nature in a cycle involving transmission between birds and mosquitoes. Some infected birds can develop high level of virus in their bloodstream and mosquitoes can become infected by biting these infected birds. After about a week, infected mosquitoes can pass the virus to more birds when they bite. Humans, horses and other mammals can also be infected. Human infection is most often the result of bites from infected mosquitoes. Mosquitoes become infected when they feed on infected birds, which circulate the virus in their blood for a few days. The virus eventually gets into the mosquito's salivary glands. During later blood meals, when mosquitoes bite, the virus may be injected into humans and animals, where it can multiply and possibly cause illness. However, humans, horses and other mammals are deadened. That because they do not develop high levels of virus in their bloodstream and cannot pass the virus to other biting mosquitoes. The incubation period for clinical illness generally ranges from 2 to 14 days, but prolonged incubation periods of up to 21 days have been observed among immunocompromised patients. Infection with West Nile virus is either asymptomatic no symptoms in around 79% of infected people, or can lead to West Nile fever or severe West Nile disease. About 20% of people who become infected with West Nile virus will develop West Nile fever. Symptoms include fever, headache, fatigue and body aches, nausea, vomiting, occasionally with a skin rash and swollen lymph glands. The symptoms of severe disease, also called neuroinvasive disease, include high fever, server headache, stiff neck, disorientation, stupor, coma, tremors, convulsions, muscle weakness, and paralysis. It is estimated that approximately 1 in 150 persons infected with the West Nile virus will develop a more severe form of disease. West Nile virus contains three structural proteins and a host-derived lipid bilayer. The E glycoprotein is the major flavivirus structural protein present on the viral surface, as well as the dominant target of neutralizing antibodies. The E glycoprotein is responsible for binding the host cellular receptor as well as endosomal fusion. The mature West Nile virus variant is about 50 nanometers in diameter with 180 copies of the E glycoprotein. The homodimeric arrangement of the E protein shields exposure of the diffusion loop at neutral pH. The symmetry of the E proteins creates three unique chemical environments according to the orientation into two, three, or five fold symmetry axes. Immature West Nile virus variants have a distinct structural composition relative to the mature variant. Unlike the mature variant, the immature virus maintains 180 copies of uncleaved PRM protein, not covalently associated with each E protein. West Nile virus can be diagnosed by a number of different tests, IgG antibody seroconversion or significant increase in antibody titers in two serial specimen collected at a one-week interval by enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay ELISA. IgM antibody capture enzyme-linked immunosorbent assay ELISA. Neutralization assays Viral detection by reverse transcription polymerase chain reaction RT-PCR assay Virus isolation by cell culture
Treatment is supportive for patients with neuroinvasive West Nile virus, often involving hospitalization, intravenous fluids, respiratory support, and prevention of secondary infections. Several investigated therapeutic approaches include immune gamma globulin, West Nile virus specific neutralizing monoclonal antibodies, corticosteroids, ribavirin. No study has documented efficacy, in part due to difficulty in recruiting sufficient numbers of patients. Case reports are uncontrolled clinical series suggesting efficacy should be interpreted with extreme caution due to West Nile virus's highly variable clinical course. No vaccine is available for humans. West Nile virus prevention relies in part on methods to reduce the numbers of West Nile virus infected mosquitoes. Community-based mosquito control programs using integrated pest management principles proactively identify the sources of vector mosquitoes and use several methods such as elimination of breeding sites, larviciding, and targeted adult mosquito control to prevent adult mosquito populations from achieving levels that increase human infection risk. Thank you.